liquor stocks they have surely been in focus uh, you know given uh, the whole ele election scenario andhra pradesh uh, you know in terms of the move that is expected there and we actually managed to speak to madhukela who is a market veteran in terms of why does he like the liquor stocks what is he believe that where is this sector headed what is the long term structural theme in india that shaping up uh, for the liquor industry uh, let's go across and listen in there is no reason why liquor industry will not be as vibrant in india as it is there in china we have more people as compared with china now younger population who who will look to consume liquor one for per capita in, uh, income increases we have seen in lot of other sectors uh, in lot of other places that you know this liquor consumption has increased and hence there has been birth of many many valuable companies i have been invested in radico for a long time you have see what a fabulous journey this company has had in last uh, 17 18 years you know they were selling whiskey at 500 rupees uh, uh, a, a a a bottle now they sold uh, the, the same company has sold a whiskey at 5 lakh rupees a bottle right they sold 400 cases few months back at 5 lakh rupees a bottle and the the brand is globally recognized now if you are able to build a brand then you make serious money in this sector and that is what is being proven by perno record by by uh, diageo worldwide if you look at their brand this they are selling you know one bottle of 750 uh, gra uh, 750 grams at you know 25000 30000 40000 rupees Surely that's the word coming in uh, from Madhukela in terms of how does he see the industry changing. But like I was mentioning, you know, NDA 3.0, what it's expected is that the government may actually propose uh, easing in terms of liquor uh, restrictions, specifically in Andhra Pradesh. Uh, what is the change in terms of policies that one could expect there? But to talk more about that, you know, and how uh, we see an impact coming in on the companies, we do have uh, Mr. J K Arora, Chairman at Somme Distilleries and Breweries, joining in with us this afternoon. Thank you so much, uh, sir. for joining in with us this afternoon and let me start uh, with the first thing that we want to talk about is what the street is expecting they're very uh, bullish in terms of the prospect of the liquor industry liquor sector like you just heard mr uh, madhukela also speaking uh, and he also believes that you know in terms of the profitability of the sector can rise quite sharply in the coming years could you help us understand the dynamics of the industries the big trends that you are seeing in the industries and the levers uh, that you think will drive the growth for this industry you see the uh, industry as as we are uh, witnessing at, as of now the industry is doing pretty well and the uh, advantages which what we can see is uh, especially the uh, what you are talking about the levers for the growth is the is the uh, one biggest lever is the that uh, economics of scale scale of selling the liquor and beer has really gone up you know one is social a uh, taboo of uh, drinking family together has gone uh, from all the families now it is no more a taboo in the families in the social circle in the uh, friend circle it is a it is a quite now open uh, thing to drink together so that one thing and overall the scale of the uh, business has gone up so this is the one uh, lever which has really helped uh, in uh, in the growth of the business the other thing is ki that state governments have also understood that that departments which have been formed to prohibition and all that is now not possible in india because whichever state has done uh, uh, the prohibition they have not been successful and uh, overall impact to the social system is negative so now it is a well accepted fact that it's, it's, it's a part of food especially beer as a the thing so uh, sale is going in every state every sphere is going up so this, this is a direct advantage uh, to the to the business a uh, lot of restaurants um, bars pubs these are opening up everywhere 
Mr. Arora, you know what the industry is also expecting? A lot of favorable reforms uh, for the liquor industry, especially in the state of Andhra Pradesh. Now, I do know that, you know, yes, you do not have any presence at present in Andhra Pradesh. But what kind of favorable reforms do you foresee? And what are your expansion plans uh, in the state of Andhra Pradesh then? See, uh, reforms, uh, the basic uh, reforms in the states is that states have accepted that uh, the more restrictions if they put on the industry or the more is restriction they put on the consumption it is it is not in the interest of anyone uh, the the government because as i said this uh, on 100 rupees uh, price government income is 300 rupees minimum if if we sell uh, make the sales of 100 rupees, government gets at least 300 rupees as a tax. So the, the biggest, and in 100 rupees, our, our EBITDA is 10, 12 percent. So in 100 rupees, we make 12 rupees, but government makes 300 rupees on 100 rupees sale. So, so naturally, the reforms are coming in the, in the shape of promoting the consumption, promoting the business not uh, not any more uh, negative uh, in this thing so this is the one thing as regards our expansions we we are um, we are doing uh, good our karnataka expansion which we have proposed to start from 1st of april has got little bit delayed so our slightly uh, uh, this thing what big growth we were expecting from the karnataka plant has been slightly delayed, but now from 1st of June, it is it is on full swing. So I think that is one. We are also looking at the some green field and some acquisition as well. So hopefully that soon uh, in the coming time will do well. Absolutely, you know, surely you are expecting to enter the Andhra market as well as, you know, you look at the liquor business quite lucrative yeah, for five years, next five years over there in the Andhra Pradesh market. But volumes, you know, what should one expect there? Q1, FI25, yes, we believe that maybe there may be some impact because of the uh, election to some extent. But for the full year, what is one envisaging, what are you envisaging and penciling in terms of volume growth as well as uh, revenue, 1,500 on the cards? Yeah, there were a lot of restrictions on the production and sales and the, the marketing of the uh, liquor. But now the elections are over and things are uh, looking uh, better. Earlier, we have done uh, against uh, last year our 800 crores. We have uh, projected about 1,000 crores, but we have finally closed the March at 1,280 uh, crores. So this this year we are going to have minimum fifteen hundred crores. That is what is our position. Meantime, if we get some acquisition or something, then probably that will be additional. But as of now, so we are hopeful of at least minimum fifteen hundred crores with good profitability this year. Right. In terms of uh, raw material pricing, Mr. Arora, I wanted to understand that also. What is the current trend and what is the outlook in terms of the margins? Because the company has been reporting those margins of 11 to 13 percent. And this has been the range in the last uh, couple of years. So what is the outlook in terms of the margins and raw material pricing? Raw material and packing materials, as I said, the price have been more or less stabilized now. It is the, the because of the Ukraine war and the one bigger company, glass company, went into the NCLT, uh, Hindustan National Glass. The, the impact of those things have almost now settled. And uh, things are, uh, prices also have settled. So I think, and uh, prices are slightly have come down also. So all these things will add to the profitability. Uh, so margins are already best in the industry, I would say, in comparison to the our peers. We are doing well. Uh, but I think maybe few points, I think, will be better than the what we are having earlier. Uh, Mr. Aurora, now uh, that we are seeing that elections are behind us, do you expect uh, other states to announce price hikes as well? 
Yeah, price hike actually, uh, you know, earlier the mindset of the state governments used to be the, why should we give uh, price increase to the manufacturers? Uh, why should they make more money? But now, now they have understood that uh, uh, that if they give a advantage of 100 rupees to the manufacturers, they, their advantage will be uh, three times more. So now, uh, you see, so this thing now that earlier this price thing, now it is not so digital. What it used to be earlier in what mistakes have Rajasthan and Telangana government have made, now they are suffering from supplies. They are not having sufficient supplies because of the uh, not giving price increase. So resulting that they got little saving on the price increase and having a huge losses on the for not getting supplies. So their revenue loss is much, much bigger. So now they have also made up their mind to, to have a reasonable price increase. And similarly, other states also have uh, decided to give a reasonable price increase. I think the atmosphere is better for the for the man, manufacturer and price high. I think everyone should get it this year. Okay, Mr. Arora, thank you so much for joining in with us this afternoon on ET Now, talking to us about the possibilities of the company and how Andhra Pradesh market is looking quite attractive for the liquor industry. Uh, and surely the company is eyeing 1,500 crores in terms of revenue for FI25. That was the management of Soam Distilleries, stock holding on to gains for of almost a percent as of now. But on If you like this video, then like, share and subscribe to ET Now.